Hey guys, Spartan117 GW here, and I hope you guys are holding out during this whole coronavirus situation, but great opportunity for me to work on some videos from home, create some content for you guys. So today, as you can see, the video is about the Haley Strategic Flat Pack and Flat Pack Plus. Now, it's kind of weird that I haven't really gotten around to doing like a full like video on this thing, um, but there was an early, early video I did with Travis Haley right basically around when it was like first coming out showing off its capabilities and stuff like that. So I just kind of want to show you the setups that I have. I do have a lot of them set up on my different kit and body armor that's kind of up on the, the rack over there, but I pulled one for you guys to check out. So one of the things I want to do is kind of show you some of the different configurations and things you can do. Like these aren't like fully, fully built out, but just kind of gives you a rough idea of how I use the bag, what you could use the bag for, the different applications for it, and just why I like the bag. So starting off with this one here, this is probably the one that I've been using the most lately. Between the two, as an everyday carry kind of bag, I kind of prefer the Flat Pack Plus. Because of its profile and its size, it is a really good balance of being able to carry a decent amount of stuff with the expandability as well, uh, but also being very narrow and very flat, hence the name. So, perfect bag because of its shape for traveling and especially putting it underneath the seat in front of you on an airplane. That's like, this is like one of my favorite things about this bag is that like, I've tried so many different bags, but they're all too big, and the, you know, I don't want to put a bag up top because then you have to, you know, you have to go get it basically. Uh, but I liked having my stuff close to me, but I didn't want to take them up my foot space either. If, if for some reason it was kind of like, you know, small foot space or whatever. Um, emergency seats for the win. Um, so that's where the flat pack comes into play in, in that regard from a lifestyle standpoint. So this is my flat pack plus and God's plaid. If you guys aren't familiar, there's one pocket here, this pocket here, and this pocket also has a gusset, so it allows it to expand. Uh, I'm going to open this bad boy up so you can see kind of what I have in here. This is a really, like, basic kind of, like, travel configuration. So, like, this is the garment bag. So, like, Haley Strategic has different inserts for this. Um, this is the garment one. And, like, let me just see what i got in here. Just clothes and stuff like that so basically this is like this bag's like good for like maybe one two days of clothes probably like one one half i mean technically depending on how how you're living or how you're camping you can probably go a couple days with one bag of clothes like this um uh, then i have like some extra cables and like some other camera equipment and stuff or whatever or just the other things i need but that's just a really like rough idea just to show you that um you can have other clear top pouches that haley strategic also makes um, and just allows you to travel and have all your stuff on you. So that's that bag. And as you saw, like that's like the profile of that bag. Uh, let me go ahead and show you another one. This is the Tropic one. Uh, I believe this one has a similar setup, but uh, let me open this one up. So this one also has a garment bag, but is kind of almost like kind of a in between like having like clothes and stuff but also having a couple other like essentials as well. So this one too has the garment bag, which has a different loadout set of clothes in it. You're gonna have a whole uniform and everything in here. Uh, but I also have um, a couple of the other things that they make. What's cool too is anything Velcro will go in here. It doesn't matter which company makes it, but, like they all will work. Um, so I got a clear top from Haley Strategic with some emergency equipment in there. Two rifle magazines on their actual wedge insert, which their wedge insert, um, like works in both their chest rig, the incog rifle bag, and of course the flat pack. So anywhere there's Velcro, slap those two in there. You got two nice controlled uh, magazines in there. They're not flying all around your bag and whatnot, and another extra tourniquet or whatever. But that just kind of gives you a really basic idea of just kind of what you can do with it. So that's kind of like sort of an in-between. Uh, this one is your standard flat pack, and this is the gray version, and just so you know, the gray version does not currently have molly. It has padding, while all the other versions have molly. I'm not 100% sure why they did that. I kind of would have preferred molly, but the uh, padding on here does make it a nice everyday bag. So this one is just, it's you know fully zipped up. The gusset's not expanded, just to kind of give you an idea of the size. Uh, I'm going to open this bad boy up, and I've got an Arcteryx jacket in here. So I got my Arcteryx uh, Wolf Gray jacket in my Disruptive Gray um, flat pack. And then I also have a Unity clutch. So 
the kind of I get this this bag color is kind of more for like clandestine stuff or clandestine stuff, however you pronounce it. So this is a Unity clutch that I have in here that's all like rolled up. It's not fully fully built out yet. I still got to get a holster and everything for it, but it just kind of gives you an idea. It's got a radio, rifle mag. You got spots for like pistol magazines and stuff in this clutch that just wraps around your body real fast. You can wear it underneath a jacket like that, and you're good to go. And so um, the the flat pack, the standard version, right, which is a little bit more this size wise profile wise works really well with body armor well not to say that the flat pack plus doesn't uh but yeah it's kind of made for stuffing stuff into so you can just stuff stuff in here it's not a full peel design does not have velcro so if you weren't sure about the differences between the flat pack and the flat pack plus that kind of gives you an idea this one's kind of a little bit more of a full like you're gonna wear this getting ready to go kind of thing like you're gonna go into like the shit so this one, I opened it up. Oh, <laughs> chest ring came out. So I've got another wedge in here with um, two extra rifle mags. This has the full chest rig, the uh, the D3CRX right here with the hanger. This is actually the old hanger, the new hanger is on my other plate carrier. Uh, but then th basically all you'd have to do is close this up, clip it on to on this side, and then you're good to go. So this is basically a complete setup, like right here, just kind of in the bag. So in your backpack, you've basically like more or less got like a full ready to go war rig, uh, essentially. Um, so that's kind of how the flat pack plus really plays into that. So this, that's just a couple different configurative ideas for you there. And then this is kind of what I have it set on like um, in a plate carrier configuration. So Tropic just got released from Halo Strategic. So make sure you go check that out. Tropic is hot. And in case you didn't notice, I mean, I mean this flat pack plus over here is pretty cool. I'm going to grab that for you. Yeah. yeah, Tropic is hot. So really digging the Tropic. This is the flat pack plus. This is the flat pack in Tropic. I even got matching name tape for it too. So if you're about that green life, um, definitely check out Tropic from Haley Strategic. Uh, but yeah, this kind of gives you an idea with the full suite of like their chest rig, the hanger. Uh, and the flat pack kind of look like integrated on a body armor system. So that kind of gives you an idea. For me, love the bag as like a travel bag. That's like my main purpose. And of course, you know, putting stuff on your plate carrier or whatever. So you can put mission essential equipment in there, use it as an SC bag. You can use it as a medic bag. They have different color um, of these little pull zips. So that way you could have different clear tops and have them color coded for everything. I've used them for like ammo. You can use it for medical supplies. The sky's the limit. I've, I've used it to really organize my bag. So when I get somewhere, all I gotta do is just open the bag. And everything's there, nothing's flying around or whatever. So that's what I really like about the bag is the, the full peel design is pretty cool. So, and on top of that, um, there are companies out there making soft body armor that actually fits into the profile of the flat pack. So you can have like soft body armor in there for like your EDC bag or like soft soft body armor in here that's basically perfectly cut. I'll put a link in the description for that below if you guys want to check that out. So that's another cool thing is that you have a bag with body armor in it, soft body armor, mind you. Um, but that just gives you a little more flexibility with the flat pack system. So it's a great bag. It's great as a standalone bag. It's great integrated with body armor. It's great integrated in like a chest rig configuration with like the the micro, the heavy, and the light chest rig. Um, so it's a really cool ecosystem of products that they've come up with. That's why I like the flat pack. That's why I think it's great. Um, I guess one of the other things that you could potentially do too is have a holster with Velcro on it, have it in the flat pack so you can just have it there ready to go and then be able to pull it out for like a, if you're using the bag as like your retention basically or just having it in there. Like I guess kind of similar to like how people use it on like those, uh, other EDC bags or whatever, but that's just another option or idea that you can have other than having the gun physically on you and like an appendix carry, something like that. So make sure to check out Haley Strategic. Big thanks to those guys for supporting me and the channel through all these years. Gotten to collaborate and do a lot of cool stuff with them. Super fortunate. Um, yeah, but you know, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. Keep sharpening that sword. This is Spartan117GW. I'll see you guys next time.